Hi there everyone and welcome to my channel. This will be my first of many videos recorded and this one is going to be about how to get to the Microtech IAE Exhibition Center. I'm going to fly from Louisville and let's see if we can get in. And this is a issue that we will get quite a lot this weekend. There's a lot of people playing so you just have to continually press the button and you will eventually be let into the game. There we go. So the process to get to Microtech will be quite similar. It doesn't really matter where you are flying from. So the first thing is to get out of bed, find out where your exit is, and go out the door. If you don't want chat to appear, you press F12 and then you can hide it. When you get into the elevator, go to the ground floor. From here, we're going to turn left, run past this awe inspiring space, and then we're just going to keep left. Keep left. I see there's a metro center. Go and take our way down. And we want to make sure that we're going to take the spaceport line. So just follow the signs. Once again, the spaceport line. Ah, oh, and we've just missed the train. No worries, about 22 seconds or so and your train will be arriving. Alright, when the train has arrived, get on the train, make sure you stand in the middle somewhere, Step you away even from the have a seat. When train is approaching. Okay, just take the views in. If you're wondering how I'm able to bring up my mouse and zoom in, you hold an F and you scroll your mouse wheel. Now arriving, please have safe course. Please watch your step. I can't see much at the moment because we're here at night. During the day, it's much easier to see what's going on. Alright, so you can see that the exit is to your right. Do you follow the exit signs? We're going to keep left and we're going to go to the customs area. So normally when you go to a new planet or you leave a planet, you have to go through customs. Eventually, if you have contraband or something, I'm sure that these alarms will go off, but for now we're just going to run through customs without any worries. Once you've arrived at the spaceport, the space spaceport, you'll have this vehicle retrieval console. This is where you can get your ship. Today we are going to have a fly the Origin 400. I'm not very familiar with this ship yet. It's all new, but we're going to have some fun. Okay, Hangar 7. So it's going to tell me which hangar I need to go to. I need to find out where the hangar elevators are. And you can see elevators to hangars. You can go straight or go left. Normally there are six, and it doesn't really matter which one you take. I'm just going to take this random one over here. see with the icon where my ship is, hangar 7. There we 
go. We're off to hangar seven. Just always make sure that there's no one with you in the elevator. Yes, it's a thing people like to hijack you. There are some pirates and things like that. So always just make sure there's no one. And there you go. You've gone to your hangar. Always close the door when you get into your ship because there might even be some people hiding inside the hangar area. And this still being an alpha, there are still a little bit of glitches here and there. So there was just like a black screen. Let's get it to the pilot seat because it doesn't matter. We're all okay. And we're ready to head off. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to press R for Romeo and that's going to make your ship flight ready. Alternatively you can hold your F button and you can go and look for where the flight ready button will be on your ship. I don't know the ship that well so I've got no idea where the button is but the shortcut is R. First thing we're going to do is we're going to press F1 and at the bottom we're going to go to com link. We're going to just select friends and you will have your landing services of uh, wherever landing pad you're at. Press on that button over there to clear for landing or rather now take off. You are clear to launch. We are clear to launch. Press F1 again. If you want to, if you want to have a view outside press F4 and you hold in Z or Z and you can move your mouse. I like to do this just to see when the doors are open. When they've opened, press your space bar, start flying. Beautiful takeoff. Press N for Nelly to retract your landing gear. And off we go. You can see that it's starting to become morning. Beautiful sunrise. closest to the city. In this case it's Everest Harbour. I pressed B in order to spool my drive but you can see that I'm too close to the city surface. I need to exit the atmosphere before I'm able to use my front to travel. to land here and that is the landmark you look for to find the space station and you see those blue glowing lights in the middle there that's where you have to go and land so we can start to see the station sometimes struggle to jump just point to another place we want to jump to let it recalibrate you can see there's a player coming in there and there we go we just let our jump Okay, 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to press F2 to fill up the map. And normally to the top right, you'll see there's Microtech. That is where the expo is. We're going to double click on it, and then we're going to zoom. And you see that circle. So the circle is normally where the main city is. In this case, it's New Babbage. We're going to click on it. So you're going to see that the line is going to lock in. We're going to set route. And it's going to tell me on the left hand side what the route is and how much um, fuel it's going to take. So my current fuel and how much fuel is required for this. It's always good to know that you have enough fuel. Press F2 again. And at the bottom middle, you can see there's a green line that's indicating and showing me where and which direction I need to go. You press B. Currently obstructed, so it's the space station that's in the way. So we just need to clear this area first. Speed up. and visuals in this game. All right, let's see if we are able. Yes, all right. Calibrated, spooled up. There we go, we've got 38 million kilometers. It's quite a long flight if you don't have upgraded systems. All right, we're about six million kilometers. If you press F2 again, can have an idea of where you are in the system. That's our ship. Heading off to Microtech. We're almost there. It's even the fuel usage to the left, which is quite nifty. We should be able to see the planet quite shortly. the quantum drive giving you notice that you're getting close to the planet here we go microtech very bright cold planet so there's new babbage but because we've just traveled quite a while, our engines are hot. We have to cool down a little bit before we're able to spool up and get closer to the city. Night again. Lovely. There is the city. At night, it's quite hard to find out where you need to land, even in the day. It can quite tricky to find out where you need to land. There's quite a bit of lag because there's quite a lot of people here, I'm assuming. Okay, so just need to try and find out where the spaceport is. I've got a feeling it's that area over there. Let's quickly have a look. The spaceport is a little bit outside the city. there. 
I would normally find it is it's very faint but there is a train line that you see goes from the center of the city all the way out there and there is some lights so let's go to the space station and land I just have to warn you I'm terrible at landing I have had many crashes and scrapes in my days definitely not my strong suit a ship so it looks like we are in the right direction it's a player ship greenish blue and as soon as you see that almost like a Wi-Fi com link to the right and at the top it says please contact ATC to land I'm gonna press F1 again go to com link friends new Babbage space bar. Contact them to request for landing. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Okay, we've been assigned the landing bay. Let's see if I'm able to land without crashing. Okay, always remember to press N for Nelly to take out your landing gear. That's always important. Helps me quite a bit. Oh, there's like a little snowstorm happening here as well. Okay, so normally when I'm lined up, I go to the top view because I always get the distance to where I'm supposed to be wrong. Okay, let's start our descent. So I was a little bit too much to the back, a little bit more to the front. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, looks like we're going to nail it. Ah, wasn't pretty, but we're there. Why? Make our way inside of the ship. So, same rule applies always close your ship's doors and entrances as quickly as possible. There might be some people hiding here to try and hijack your ship. Get here. Not these screens. These screens just tell you about the plants. These screens. Sorry, I'm taking your space. Uh, uh, yes, he or she is using it. There we go. Normally, there we go. I was a bit too far away to press the button. So there we go. So these two are stored. Great. Why not rest now, as soon as we come here, hello. We're going to go to the left. Ground. Empty metro loop. And make our way down. Yes, and once again, we go through customs. As is the way when you, you know, reach a new planet sure that you're not bringing any contraband into the planet and you can choose any of the elevators and 
have to go to the metro loop. Okay. So it's very nice that we have these banners or these boards, billboards that show us the way, show us the way. So it's this way. Waiting for the train. This train is awesome, it has a lot of glass. But we're here at night, so we won't be able to see too much. Cam, doors are now closed. And someone's flag is in the air. Right, so you'll see the first the one is not the one to get off. This is the commons, and we're not going to go to the commons. Cam, doors are now closed. We're heading to the Tobin Expo Center. Okay. Yes, there you can see. This way. The cap. And then here you are finally 